Now therefore, fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and truth and put away the gods of your father serve beyond the river and in Egypt and serve the Lord. Amen. And if it is disagreeable in your sight to serve the Lord, choose for yourself today whom you will serve. Whether the gods which your father have served, which beyond the river, or the gods of the Amorites, whom land you are living in. But as for me and my house, all right. we will serve the Lord. Amen. And all the people answered and said, Far be it from us. We serve, uh, we should forsake the Lord to serve other gods. All right. The title of the message today yes, yes. is the rise stops here. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. My dear Father, we thank you. We love you. We praise you, Father. Father, we thank you for another opportunity to stand before your people, Father. Father, ask me that you would hide me behind the sacred desk, Father, that the true preacher may go forth, Father. Father, we just thank you. We love you. We praise you, Father. Written that I've sinned again, short in our glory, Father. Asking that you would empty me out of me, Father, and fill me with your spirit, Father. Yes. So, Father, we yes. thank you. We love you. We praise you. Set your mighty son, Jesus' name. Amen. 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 The ride stops yeah. here. All right. Okay. We had a uh, little get together. We went to SeaWorld and my godchild, we got up to the gate. My godchild got up there and, and she seen her Uncle Master. And she said, as soon as we got into the gate, Uncle Master picked me up. <laughs> I had no problem with that. Right. She only weighed less than 45 pounds. You know, I'm a big man. I can pack my god child. I can pack my god child up on the world. So I got my god child and I packed her on. Uncle Master, let's go here. Oh, we got you, baby. Hold on. So we get over there to the SeaWorld tank, and then we see a bunch of dolphins. She said, put me down, Uncle Master. I want to see the dolphins in the tank. <laughs> no problem. Uncle Master, sit her down. We get up. We pack up. She said, well, Uncle Master, it's time to go. Pick me up. <laughs> so I pick my baby up, and we pack up there. We go to, to the little fountain. We go to the little fountain. Uncle Master, put me down. I want to play in the fountain. I said, okay, we're going to check with your mother. It's okay. Mama said, okay, take your shoes off. She took her shoes off. She played, rip and run and rip and run. And after we got tired of playing in the fountain, Uncle Master picked me up. <laughs> no problem. I got you, baby. I got you. So as we going down to the park, we going a little bit further, a little bit further. Now Uncle Master is getting kind of tired. <laughs> Uh, 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 <laughs> but I got you, baby. Right. So Uncle Master is bad, his little pressure, and his little 45 pounds are lifting too long now. All right. So Uncle Master decides to put his baby down. <laughs> his baby looked at him. Uncle Master, I don't want the ride to stop. Right. Uncle Master, I, I, I want, baby, you gotta stay. Every tub stands on his own place. <laughs> Baby, Uncle Master, a little too tired right now. You gotta stand on your own. Now you gotta go for what you know. All right. See, so see, sometimes we get tired in our life. All right. All right. And see, right. here yeah. in the text yeah. today, yeah. we're gonna learn one of the reasons why the ride stops here. All right. I can imagine my God, baby, say, Uncle Master, big as you are, you can pack me all day long. Yeah. I yeah. can imagine she all said, right. man, I don't want this ride to stop. All right. Yes. And see, some of us like this ride to keep on, continue on, and continue on, but sometimes the ride has got to stop, and we got to stand on our own. Come on now. Come on. Right. Here all in right. the text. All right. Right. Here in the text that we are here, we see the guy by the name of Joshua, yes. or the one who named Joshua, the son of Nun. Now, see, you got to understand who son of Nun is. Come you got to understand that he was the one that stood by Moses through the children of Israel yes. with their mom and their complaining. Yes. You got to understand that he was one of the right hand men of Moses who was the prophet of the children of Israel. Yes. You got to understand that here, the son of Nun had done everything that God had asked him to do when he followed Moses. All right. All right. All not right. only did he follow right. Moses, not only did he follow Moses, but then sometimes 
Joshua and his obedience. Because of his obedience and obeyed God, they went through battle after battle and they won victory after victory because Joshua was able to stand and trust God at his word and to do everything that God said to him. Oh, Joshua a bad boy. All right. See, Joshua took him through battles after battles, but now Joshua has gotten a little age on him. All right. Now Joshua is here, and he gotten all the children of Israel together, all the tribes together, and all, all right. the elders standing up there. Now he's going to have this retirement point. Come on. Right. He's going to let them know, hey, right. the ride stops here. All right. Y'all right. can't hang on my coattail no more. Y'all right. can't stand on what I believe what God is telling us to do. Yeah. Yeah. Even yeah. though you was obedient to me for what God told me to do, the ride stops here. All right. I'm going to on the yoke. Right. See, the problem is, the problem is, this man has gotten tired. Uh -huh. This man, Joshua, has done and fought the good fight. Yeah. He's elder in age now, but he want to let them know, hey, the ride stop here, but when the ride stop here, you got to know what to do. All All right. Right. See, the problem is, yeah. the problem is a lot of us, when the ride stop, we want to stop. All All right. Right. Come on. When the ride is cut off, we don't want to move. We don't want to do anything but the ride is stop. We want to stay right there. Yes, yes. Well, we have been stopped off, left off, and everything else. Well, well, well God has found us at is where he's going to leave us at if we don't move. All right. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. All right. All right. See, Come on, he now. says here, he says here, and he says that. Now, therefore, fear the Lord. Yes. See, when the ride stops, you got to understand that you must fear who God is. All right. See, not only that Joshua was able to tell him the ride stop you, but now you got to stand on your own. you got to fear the Lord for yourself. Amen. Now, see, yeah. this fear and this fear here is not the fear of, of being scared of God, right. not being terrified right. of God, but this fear is the reference of our holy God. All right. See, in order for you to start moving when the ride stop you, you got to understand that you got to understand that you have to have the reference of the Holy God. Come on now, preach. Right Reverence of God who, who, who brought you out of your circumstances, yeah. the one who can deliver you out of your problems, yeah. the one who can bring you out of death situations, yeah. the one that can keep you when you can't keep yourself. Come on. Just have reference for him. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Joshua, All right. Come on. All right. Giving them something to hold on to. All right. All right. Yeah. Something to, to, to maintain to them. After he has gone on to be with the Lord. Yes. See, at his, at his retirement party here, he wanted to let them know, hey, I'm not going to be with you always. But if you hold fast to my words, if you keep fast to my words, this is something that will keep you well after I'm gone. Yes, yes. Mm. Right. He said, feel the Lord. And see, if you feel the Lord, that will keep you. Yeah. But see, not yeah. only that he told them to feel the Lord, and not only that he told them to... To feel the Lord, but he says here, it says here that uh, to feel the Lord and serve Him in sincerity. All right. Uh -huh. See, uh -huh. see, it takes the reverence of God yes. in order for you to serve God. All right. See, it That's takes right. the That's right. it takes the real reverence of God for you to serve God inadequately. All right. I mean, adequately. When, to really serve God, you got to serve Him in sincerity in heart. In, in your all true right, heart. Right, you right, gotta really right. do this. You can't do this because somebody else wants you to do it. Right, you can't do this right, because right, Michael say do it. You can't do it because right, Daddy say do it. You gotta do this in the side of your heart for the God that you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, you gotta understand here that 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 Joshua was letting them know that hey, you gotta do this on your own. Yeah. Oh baby, yeah. you gotta do this on your own. Yeah. Yeah. Papa Joshua gotta go on. But you got to keep it moving. Yeah. See, the problem with a lot of us, we don't want to keep it moving. All right. And when we don't want to keep it moving, we got to be able to trust God. Yeah. Have the reverence of God. Sincerity of heart. We got to be sincere about this thing. We can't be faking and shaking. We can't, we, can't, we can't be doing this thing because we're doing it for a show. 
We yes. gotta have sincerity yes. in heart, yes. or we won't be moving. That's Amen. right. Or the ride will definitely stop right, right there. Yes. But see, we gotta keep it moving, and not only do we have to keep it moving, but we gotta reverence God, and we gotta serve Him. We gotta serve Him with sincerity in all in our, in our with our whole heart, right. and not only that, we serve Him sincerely, but we must serve Him in truth. What is truth? The root, the truth is the, the root of his word. The truth is his word. Amen. And if the truth is his word, then we need to serve him to the best of our ability, to the point of where we are serving him at his word. Amen. And we continue to serve him at his word. See, see, that's what we want to let him know that if you trust God enough, if you have sincerity of heart, and if you trust God at his word, things will move. Amen. See, you want to know why things don't move in some of our lives? Because we can't trust them. Some things why like things won't move in our lives because we don't have reference of him. See, some of the things that we don't have because we're not sincere and hot when we're doing the things that we need to do to give God all the worship and praise. Amen. Amen. Say it to the truth. And then not only is it the truth, but it says that. Now, 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 this is probably a little difficult here. Bring it on, bring it on. This is yeah. a little difficult. Now, we celebrate, we giving him, we giving him fear, reverence, we giving him, uh, we serving him, serving him in society, and now we serving him in truth. But here is something that, that may cause a little stumble in here. It says that, and put away. See, the problem is a lot of us don't want to put stuff away. See, a lot of us don't want to put away that TV set. So a lot of us don't want to put away some of that overtime. So a lot of us don't want to put away all that we don't know. Some of us don't want to put away our own selfish way. See, some of us don't want to put away the way we used to think. We don't want to put away our putting the finger at somebody when they cut us off. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. See, we don't want to put those things away. We don't want to put that alcohol bottle down. We don't want to put that alcohol bottle down. We don't want to put that thing that makes us feel good when we know it's wrong. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Put things away. See, yes. just let them know, hey. Amen. Amen. In order for you to serve God in society and in truth, you got to put some things away. See, yes. some of us act like little children. See, mama told us to put that Xbox down. When we wait tomorrow, we're going to sleep, we cut it up with something. All right, all right, all right. Hey. Some of us want to keep on playing when, when, when it comes down to God. We want to continue to hold on to it when God has told us to put it away. Yeah. See, God has told us to put some of them things away, right, some of them childish things that we still do, and yet we still doing it. In order for us to get in the right relationship with the God we serve, we got to put away some things. Yeah. Yeah. See, you got to put away. See, yeah. see, it's hard to put away that ice cream after you got four or five big spoons full. Oh, it's hard to put away that bag of chips when you just got one. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. 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 That it's hard to put away that thing when you're so accustomed to it. Yeah. All right. Mm. Yes, All right. See, he says we must put it away. All right. Oh, it was good while it lasted. Oh, it was, it was good while it was In order for us to move, we need to put it away. Amen. You know those things we need to put away. You know those conversations we need to put away. Yeah. You, you, you know the, the rendezvous we have we need to put away. Yeah. You know we need to put some things away. Put it away. Not only that he says that we need to put away, but the gods which your fathers have served beyond the river, River and in Egypt. And he said, once you put these things away, once you push them away, once you get them out of the way from the past things that we used to do, pushing them out of the way, now it says that here, it says, serve the Lord. The Lord. What that's telling me is serve that once you put this thing away, you eliminate the hindrance from you serving God. Come on now. All right. All right. Come on. All right. Come on. It eliminates the fact that you have no longer have to deal with that issue that took your time away from serving right. yeah. You have no more time to deal it. with those things of the past that will stop you from communicating with a holy All God. Right. That All means right. that you have you have more time if you put them away, you have more time to pray to God for sincerely about the things you need. Yeah. You have more time to spend with him yeah. and have a proper relationship with him if you put some of those things away. Amen. Well, you need to put them all away. Put them all. Yep. Put all 
all those things yeah. about yeah. Amen. that's Amen. not in the will of God. Yes, yes. yes. Put the way. Right. Yes. See, right. he's letting them know. He's letting them know, hey, 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 I'm going to be with you all. I, 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 I'm stepping down from my authority ship that God has placed me here because it's time for me to move on. Mm. And, and hold on to that because it's for a lot of lies, he's going to tell us why. But see, he's saying that I've got to tell you what I need to tell you about trusting God and about putting things away that's not in God's will. If you want to move on, if you want to continue to move, you've got to be able to put things away. Amen. And here it says that, and if it is disagreeable in your sight to serve God, now here he's saying, he said, now if God, living for God is disagreeable in your sight, if, if living for God holy, like you need to live for God holy, if you don't agree with that, you got a choice. You got something to make. You got, you got a decision to make. You can't be striking the fence. You can't be mad and out. You can't be, you can't have Saturday, Saturday night fever and Sunday morning further prayer. You can't have it. Oh, you can't have it. You, you, you can't have it. You want to be, want to be holy today and tomorrow to be unholy. You can't have it. The two does not mix. Day in, day and night does not have fellowship. Oh no, it doesn't. All right. You got a choice to make. See, the problem is a lot of us don't believe we have a choice. All right. See, a lot of us don't believe we have a choice. The devil made me do it. That's a lot. We got a choice. That's a lot. We got a choice. Oh, I'm possessed. No, 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 no. You ain't possessed. You give it in to the devil. Come on. Today, 
today. This day. This day. This day. Amen. He didn't say tomorrow. This day. He didn't say yesterday. He didn't say he didn't say sometime in the future. Yeah. 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 He said, you got to make yeah. it up now. I'm not going to be with you long, so you need to make yeah. it up now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. I need to know what's going on where, with you. Where you the the, the yeah. ride has stopped, and I want to know where you're going when I need you. Preach it, brother. <laughs>
out of one trust that is right. He said, he says here, the gods of the Amorites who win your liberty. Mm. Now, now, now you can choose the gods of your fathers. The gods of your fathers are, are the things that you did in your past, your, 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 your sins that you was caught up in in your past. Your, your, the gods of your fathers are, are those things that came up that you used to do, but you don't do anymore. The gods of, 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 of the fathers are, are those things, those superstition things that, that's in your life that you need to change in your life. He's saying you can choose these things. Or you got another choice. You can serve the gods in the land that you're in. All right. Now that tells me here that, that you can't let your uh, living situation dictate the way you live. All right. All right. Or your living right. situation dictate on how the God you serve. Amen. Right. See, the problem is a lot of us let our living situation dictate on how we're going to serve God. What that means? That simply means that, hey, when we are living in that $100,000 house or that $200,000 house, that we going to continue to serve our job instead of coming to the house. Come on now. Come on now. That, that, that means that, that, means that right. when we're serving right. that now, in the circumstance, that means that we're going to work hard to keep that car note up. All right. We're going to work hard to keep that, that little joyful motorcycle that we like to keep that we paying notes on. We're going to try to work hard to keep it. That's all it means. That living circumstance dictate on how we serve our God. Are we letting are we letting our living situation dictate right. the way God we serve our God? All right. What all that right. simply means is if we are happy, that if we have some joy coming into the church, we are right. Yeah. But see, but sometimes when we right. get happy, it's based upon the moment that we have that we may or may not come to God, Amen. God's house in prayer. Amen. Ooh, then he says that. He said, Don't let your living situation dictate on how you serve God. Amen. All right. Amen. Right. Not that in the place that you live show you how you should live and serve God. Amen. Just because of your circumstance. Just because you're in a crackhead, I mean a crack uh, crack infested neighborhood crack does not crack, Amen. crack head infested neighborhood don't mean you have to be a crackhead. Amen. Amen. It doesn't mean that if you got drug dealers walking around your neighborhood, doesn't mean you have to be a, a drug dealer. All right. Just saying here that don't let your
He said, ask for me. I'm holding on to that me. Hold on to that meat. You see, some of us need to hold on to that meat because, see, everybody, we think about it, it's about everybody else. Yeah. I want to choose a church based upon my children. Yeah. That's a lie, yeah. and that's not for the peace of God. It's not yeah. for me. Yeah. See, it's an individual choice, Pastor. Yeah. It's an individual choice. Yeah. He said that, he said it's for me. That my decision yeah. is based upon the God that I serve yeah. or based on the memory of what God has done for yeah. me. I'm going to make this choice. Based upon the God I know. Yes. I'm going to make the choice. Yes, sir. As for me. Come on. Now, I like that because see, he, he, just stopped on, he just stopped on me. All right. See, if you work on me a little bit more. Right. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. If you work on me a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, be able, yeah. Yeah. we'll be able to stand and say what he said. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Me my house. Come on. Yeah. Oh, All see, right. see, see, see. I don't All know, but right. that's why I feel a tingling in my head. Oh, right. <laughs> As for me and my house. Oh, yeah. See, that alone, yes, that alone yes, preach, Pastor. Yes, yes, see, that alone to tell you yes, that yes, hey, in spite yes, of what goes on, yes, anything out of my dominion, yes, anything out of my body, it's going to be something to a holy God. Yes, 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 As for me and my house. Yes, yes, see, see, I love like that because see, see, what it's saying is, I made the choice. Yes. My household don't have a choice. Yes, 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 Somebody in your 
if we continue to stand fast like Joshua, our household will line up. Our kindred will line up. Yes, Lord. They will see when we make those steps over and over again. Being consistent with our steps. I like that, Pastor. Being consistent with our steps over and over again. The choice is really no choice. That's right. right. It's really no choice. When we're standing up on God's word over and over again, if you're making the right decision, a real educated decision, you will say there's no brain. There's no brain to serve God who brought you out. To feed you when you're home. There's water when you're thirsty. A God that is able. Able what? Able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can ask or think. Why would you want to serve another God? Why would you want to go another way? The people say, far be it for us to serve another God. Praise the Lord. That's good news. Yes, That's good news yes, that is. God is able to keep us. Yes, yes, not only keep us in our house, yes. but anybody else that's watching us, yes. the right. way we live. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. all right. Pastor, I'm so, I'm so, so reminded about Jesus and his disciples. Amen. Jesus walked on the earth for 33 years. He walked the dusty shores of Galilee. They are uh, they tried to crucify him. They tried to get him. They tried to capture him. They, they tried all kinds of things within those 33 years to take his ministry out. They finally got a hold to Jesus because he was betrayed by one of his own. They finally got a hold to him. They hung him up on the tree, Pastor. Sure enough, sure enough. They hung him up. Hung him high. Stretched him out. He hung his head and he died. Yeah. But see, that ain't how the story is. Yeah. He got up yeah. with all yeah. power yeah. in his hand. Yeah. All right. And I'm here to tell you, each and every one of us today, we have power through Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, that's good news. Yeah. And that same wonder working power of the cross, for him getting off the cross, is the same power we have today. Yeah. And the good news about that, see, after he died and after he got rose from the third day, those same ones. Mm. Who followed him uh-huh. was able to do some of the same all things. Right, all Amen. right, all with right, power. all right. With power Amen. from him. All Amen. right. Yes. 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 Amen. The ride Amen. stops here. Amen. Amen. Pick up your walk. Pick up your feet and walk. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Pick up your feet and walk. Amen. Right. Amen. Walk this walk. All right. Mama can't pack. Yeah. All right, now. Daddy came back. You better talk. You got to walk this walk on your own. Amen. I heard Pastor in, in back in the Sunday school say that, that Mama and Daddy can't bring you this walk. Yeah. You got to do it on your own. Yeah. Make your choice today. Yes, yeah. yes. Amen. 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 Amen.